Hi guys, welcome to CA Final SCMP E or SCPM Self Paced Paper. We are doing chapter number three, Lean Systems and Innovations. That teaches you basically how to avoid wastages in your organization. There are a lot of techniques for that. Five S is there. Then you have uh, Kaizen costing. There are a lot of techniques that are there. You have uh, total productive maintenance and so on. Let's see what question we all have today. Just before that, a reminder in case you wish to be joining our complete course, read the description below and join our Telegram channel for the frequent updates for the subject. So the question for today is which of the following does Kaizen improvement process not focus on? Bring me the four options first. It is 5S, okay. Then second one is Poka Yoke, okay. Third one is just in time principles. And lastly, D is improvement by innovation. In case you know the answer, try to comment below, please. Okay, see. Now, this chapter is lean system. One of the ways to reduce the amount of waste. Lean means making the entire system waste free. So one of the ways to be doing that or one of the techniques is 5S. 5S comprise of five different words. Five different words start away with like, you know, uh, sorting, set in order, shine, standardize and sustain. These are basically five things how to be keeping your workforce clean. Okay, your workplace clean, sorry, not workforce. So if your place will be clean, neatly organized, have only those things which are relevant, automatically like, you know, things will improve. Uh, what is Kaizen costing? I will come back to that. Poka yoke is basically a technique whereby we try to employ all those controls. So therefore errors do not happen. Okay. Suppose like, you know, you are a logistics company, you are a courier company and you want to be sending the parcel. So therefore there'll be few checks that you must have made. So therefore like, you know, correct parcel will go in the correct truck only. So therefore a parcel for Jaipur will reach Jaipur only, will go in that truck, which is going to Jaipur, so on and so forth. Just in time principles are basically those uh, principles that help you to reduce the amount of inventory that you all have. You have two forms of just in time. You have JIT production, you have JIT purchases. JIT purchases tell you purchase the raw materials when you need. So therefore there are no RM stocks. JIT production tells you produce when the demand comes. So therefore at that time there'll be no finished goods stock. Improvement by innovation. I'll come back to it. Okay, improvement by innovation in English words mean try to do something whereby there is innovation and you try to be reducing your cost. Now, what do you mean by Kaizen costing? See, Kaizen costing is basically it is, it's a Japanese word to be honest, which stands for small little steps taken every day in long run help you to reduce your cost to a great extent. Kaizen itself means continuous improvement. The Kaizen strategy aims to involve the workers from multiple functions and levels in the organization in working together to address a problem or improve a particular process. Now, Kaizen costing is basically like, you know, that your costs are high. You do every small thing now and then to try to reduce your cost. Say that within one year, I'll be able to reduce, say the cost, say by 5%. I'm not trying to innovate something. No. But I'm trying to learn every day, okay, how to be reducing the cost up and so on. And there are many ways to be reducing the cost. Might be one of them is 5S. If you'll keep your like, you know, place clean. If you will have only those things that you will require automatically, like, you know, your cost will be less only because unnecessary irrelevant things will not be there. Poka yoke. It's basically a process whereby like, you know, that no mistakes will happen. So automatically your cost will start to be reducing. JIT will help you ultimately to reduce your cost by reducing the amount of inventory that you all have. Improvement by innovation does not come as part of Kaizen. Kaizen doesn't mean that I'm doing something very remarkable. To give you some example of Kaizen costing, you all will uh, agree to this also. Now, uh, if you see around in 1960s, 70s, 80s, the aeroplanes, if you see the movies, uh, the aeroplanes that were there had seats, okay, where we sit of steel or of iron, okay. Obviously, they have a lot of weight also. Such seats, like, you know, they have a lot of weight. So whenever the plane will fly, a lot amount of the fuel gets consumed. And ATF is very expensive or air turbine fuel, okay, the fuel that is used in the aeroplanes. But over a period of time, what we all have done, we all have tried to 
replace all these seeds by titanium seeds titanium is the one of the hardest material known to man and it's very lightweight so therefore the plane of the weight falls automatically fuel cost starts to come down to a great extent okay this is one example of kaizen costing say one more example for a aeroplane sector only earlier like you know if you travel through air india you used to be getting salads but then few audits that were done like you know that most of the people do not eat salads now if you go salads are no longer there as part of your meals okay they are removed because pe uh, people were not eating them so why to be keeping them right that saved around 3 crore rupees for air india every year small little change it's no innovation it's no big deal when aadhar system was introduced it saved so much amount of cost okay for like you know everybody kind of kaizen cost these are small little things okay here and there that companies do in order to be reducing the cost and innovation does not come part of kaizen costing kaizen costing means existing process will only be smoothened existing process will only be streamlined so therefore your cost will be falling so answer over here should be d that is improvement by innovation is not part of kaizen costing that should be the correct answer yeah that is the correct answer i'll see you next time with another mcq take care bye happy learning